What is up guys, if near, I'm Cameron and this is my Chinese pit bike. I bought for $400 and we got two packages today. We got a whole kit of green Kalex 110 plastics that should fit perfectly. I was watching a couple videos and they did it so might have to return the back ones because those might not fit but hopefully because that would be awesome. And we got this new Pro Circuit exhaust from my KX85 and here's my old one and it'd be sweet if we could try to mock it up a little bit. Just I think you just have to cut it off right there maybe and uh, just bolt it in. So I'm gonna start undoing these right here. This one's cracked because um, a bike fell on it and just went straight through it. So is that another package? got the seat and both the side plastics off. I hope they fit. They look a little weird compared to the old ones. But I'm excited. I think we're just gonna put green back fender, two green side panels, and keep the front black and get a front number plate. I think that'll look pretty good and get graphics all nice. So uh, let's see. I'm excited and look uh, for this one right here. This is the problem right here. This little piece. The old ones didn't have that. This is the old one right here. So, um, I don't know. The holes line up, but I gotta take this back fender off because this is messing the, everything up. How do you do that? Two bolts, oh, it's four bolts to take this fender off, so we're gonna do that real quick. Just got three of the bolts out there. There's just one, and then there's a metal frame that goes under the back fender. Never seen that before, but this one's almost out, and you can mock up the rear fender. See how that looks. One last bolt. I'm so happy right now. This was my main problem. I thought I was gonna be scared and not fit it, but KLX 110 2013. I think I got plastics do fit on this nice Chinese Cruiser 125. It's a 2017, so. They do fit. I'm really happy about that. I might just put them all on, but this green fender, fresh new plastic. I'm gonna try to wash this off real quick since this is dirty. The, our water's turned off at our house because we're doing some kind of construction. I don't even know. And this frame thing is all dirty, so wipe it off. She comes brand new. Just a little dirt. It looks crusty dirt, but kind of sad seeing it rain. I was excited. It can rip it. Got a couple tor turns and. I didn't jump over there, I was gonna ride. Mm. Just kinda put some elbow grease in anything and anything can come clean. Look at that, look at that. Nice and shiny. Got a problem? I forgot how to put this on. Super close. Is it touching? Okay, yeah, so we're just gonna have to do a little modification. Get that whole fits. It's a little fat. Okay. Modification time. Gotta pull out the Dremel. I forgot that we had this little back frame that goes behind the back fender. So I was like, these screws aren't fitting, but after you put these in, it'll fit perfectly fine. Wait till it says one. It's just
can cut. I had to pull out the drill because these holes are like, they're so close, but they're just like not lined up good enough. So, you gotta fix it a little bit. It's just like not even like a half a centimeter off. Where's the mount? I just seen a mount somewhere. Where was it? Cut. This one's almost in. We're gonna sweat from that. Sweat from that fan on. Ah. Back to work. Cut it. These bolts right here are all rusty, so I'm gonna go wash them real quick and uh, paint them black to see how that looks. I don't know if I like black, but let's go see this out. We're gonna shake this can and get all this rust off real quick. Ain't working. <laughs> That's the only kind of spray cool we got. All right, I'm gonna uh, spray paint the front fender, match it black. But if it doesn't come out, I got a new one. Let's hope it comes out. Yep, it's made with bits of real panther. So you know it's good. It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. Stings the nostrils. nice even strokes and take your time when you're spray painting because when you take your time spray painting it always comes out better so just like nice even strokes it might match I don't know but let's let that dry come back in like probably 10 minutes Sheesh. just had to drill this little hole out a little bit more so let's see if it fits it might be perfect right there but this looks pretty nice fits nice these black ones I think I might just leave it like this, just green in the back, and the black in the front. We're gonna we'll let that one, that's drying over there. It's a couple more seconds, sir. Until I'm done. This ain't gonna fit. So far, this is what it looks like. These fit pretty good. They're all nice on there, super tight. Way stronger than the old ones. The old ones would like almost bend and crack each time. Like this, it's just like super weak Chinese plastic, and these plastics are beautiful. So, uh, oh, I got some pegs for it, some green pegs off my KX85 that we might mock up. I had to find the other one, I only found one, but it's a nice FMF pipe, nice sticker. And uh, I'm gonna peel these stickers off, just make it nice and clean. Got new 
levers come in. So there's gonna be a lot of build series to this whole build. Probably new tires, new suspension, bars, maybe a big bore. If you guys like this series, smash the like button if you want to see the big bore. But that's finished painting this over here. It's coming out pretty good. It don't look that bad. But after we put some white stickers on it, it'll look a lot better. So, might do one more coat and then there's a back, but I'm going to let it dry fully so it looks nice on the front of this bad boy right here. Here's the bike with the seat on it. I like this. is pretty flush. It looks like a perfect seam, so that looks beautiful. Full sides, pretty good. Give it came out this good. Get out and get some custom graphics coming soon. This is touching like a tiny bit, but that should be fun. Just gonna rip it, rip it like that. Two thirds like that. This is what it looks like. Looks like a beauty. Here are the extra plastics I didn't use. Just two side panels and the front fender. Because, uh, it's kind of, I might use them. I don't know yet. They look really nice in the back, so I might just do all matching. I kind of like the black and green. Well, I might just ride it like this for a couple days and maybe I can change my mind and change them, but I think it'd be too much green. And I kind of like the two two tone look. Oh, yeah, I think I'm sick. It I was in the middle of putting the plastics on that pit bike, and uh, I look at my backyard. There's a whole bunch of chickens, so uh, let's go. Uh, let's go look at them. Look at the chickens. There are neighbors' chickens over there. Over there. No, don't pet them. Dude, you about to fly away, dude. They're running. They're gone. Dipping. They put the burner on. Right after I got done putting the plastics on to uh, my pit bike, uh, I was just about to ride it. I took for like a lap around my front yard, and uh, it was right nice. I brought it in, tightened up the chain, and then the back shock is totally broken. Like, would you look at all? This whole thing just moves right here back and forth, and it's like stuck. It's just like rock hard suspension right now. So, going to go online right now and get a whole new suspension for the pit bike. But, so today we put some plastic on. I'm really happy on how the plastics came out. I think it looks a lot better. So if you guys like the first pit bike video, pit, pit bike video to this build series, please slap a like on this video and comment what other parts and stuff you think I should do on this pit bike because uh, we're going to make this thing look nice and fast and pretty. But this is it so far. I'm excited, gonna get a seat cover and a bunch of other stuff, so just comment that stuff down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.